Okay, guys, I'm not uh, going to say a whole lot about this uh, rifle I bought, but uh, I'm hoping to let some of you fellas tell me um, maybe some of what I don't know about it. This is an H&R Harrington Richardson M1 Garand. I think it's probably post war. I, I'm not just looking at the serial numbers. I'm going to guess um, that that is probably, it, it could even be post Korea. But it might not be. I don't, I don't know. I know that anything past about 4, 000, uh, 4 million is uh, probably post World War II. So I'm sure it's after that. But um, this gun seems to be in really nice condition. Um, from what I can tell with my limited knowledge, it looks to me like it's uh, fairly correct. It's got the, uh, it's got the different marks in the stock. Uh, let me see if I can show the P there. Um, there are also marks uh, on the insides of the, uh, when I took it down a little bit, it had different marks. Um, and there was one area of marks that I really, I'm gonna have to just insert a picture and let you and let you review them because they're uh, kind of in, uh, illegible to me. I think I, you know I could make out a little bit of them, but then there's one or two marks that I I can't really tell much about. And they're probably I don't know they may be re the armor's marks or something like that. But uh, anyway, I did write down some numbers. Obviously, this is what's on the back um, of the receiver um, with the serial number. 5.5 million serial number. I'm calling this the chamber cover. I don't know what else that is. It's the flap uh, that goes over the top of the chamber. Um, I'll rack this back and show you. Um, obviously that I don't play with loaded weapons, but, um, uh, anyway, that cover has, the, has that number, that 6528287 with HRA, and then the, uh, receiver side, I call it, down here somewhere, um, that's the number, and these numbers are close, uh, and I'm assuming that they're actually part numbers rather than, um, serials, but I, I don't know. Uh, from what I can tell on the gas tube or whatever that tube is, the side of it, that's the number with HRA. And then the barrel has quite a few more numbers on it. Um, HRA with the 6 million part number, I presume, and then 1054, which I'm assuming is the date, and then RS41. And... I don't know, I might be able to get in there and show some of these other marks. Uh, these are the ones that I'm not that... Actually, that might be RS4. Yeah, I think it's RS41 right there. But these marks here are some of the ones that I'm not sure. It looks like there's an M and a, maybe a Z or, or a N. And I think I see a B. And I'm not sure about the other one there. Those numbers were a bit of a mystery. I, I couldn't really tell. But the stock seems to be really nice. And, and uh, it seems, whether it is or not, it, it seems to be uh, all from the same. Uh, it, would, it would appear to me that all of this, all the pieces are, they, they look like they came together. I mean, they look like they have, the patina and everything appears to be even across the across the body of it, and it's got a few you know scuffs and scrapes and mostly dings, but particularly around here and everything. Which I, you know, and then the most interesting thing to me, honestly, is this number here on the back, which I was told was probably some type of a um, something to keep. The, the weapon straight in the, uh, probably in the uh, armory. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know what those are for, but maybe somebody can tell me that. Um, as you can see, more, more marks. The sling looks correct, as far as I can tell. 
Um, of course, there may be things on here that I think look correct that may not be, but uh, I believe we can all agree this is probably, you know, later production. Um, it's got the, you know, the stamped trigger guard versus the milled one. Um, which is right for this weapon, I would think. And uh, trying to get you as many. Someone told me that the sight and everything was correct on it. This part right here was correct. Um, I don't know. But it had a really nice barrel on it from what I could tell. It doesn't look to have been fired very much. It really, it just looks like it's uh, in really nice, nice shape in that regard. I'll see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Sorry for that terrible videoing there. I don't have a flashlight to shine down in there, but it, um, did seem to have a fairly nice, a nice looking barrel on it from what I could tell. And, uh, anyway, I'm, I think I'm gonna be happy with it. I didn't get it terribly cheap, I don't think, but I didn't, um, uh, you know, I didn't pay what a, you know, a World War II, uh, Frankenstein would have cost me, um, I don't think. Um, some of the CMP guns, you know, were not in much better shape as far as condition. Um, and they obviously had, you know, much newer parts. A lot of them did. So I think these parts are fairly, uh, they're probably fairly original, but I, I could be wrong. What do you guys have to say about it? That's really what I'm interested in because I know there's a lot of you out there that know a whole heck of a lot more than I do about it. And I'm kind of looking um, for your knowledge because this is something I have very little knowledge of. So anyway, uh, fire away. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.